Yes guys, welcome back to another Vintage Wholesale Unboxing video. Now before I get into it, apologies for the noise. If there's like a fuzzy buzzing, like hissing noise in the background, my microphone's broke, I dropped it. Um, so I've just had to spend £150 on a new one, which will be here by the end of the week. So for this video, it might be a bit fuzzy, but once that new microphone comes, then it's gonna be sorted, the audio's gonna be much better. Hopefully it's not too off-putting. I've ordered 90 hoodies, 90, 90 college hoodies, USA college hoodies. It was like £6 per piece. VAT on top of that, um, it equaled about £550 because when you order with Sired Vintage £500 or above you get 15% off plus free shipping so it saves me a bit of money. I cannot wait to get into this. As you can see the box is pretty messed up. I feel absolutely disgusting. Can you see the bruise? I got my second Covid vaccine literally the other day. I feel horrible. The first day I was throwing up, second day I was alright. Today I think I've got heat stroke or something. My knees aren't working. I'm getting old, I'm dying. Let's just get into it. I usually wear a hoodie to hide these pencil arms. My wrists, they go all the way up my arms, which is a bit embarrassing, but I don't care. Let's open it. It's like 27 degrees in the hottest room in the house. I'm dying. I see a lot of gray. I can see a lot of orange. I can't see many thermal ones, which is a bonus. Thermal ones are like the, let me show you. Thermal ones are like this. Sorry, this was one from over there from the previous unboxing where the material's like, it's like a gin material, it's like polyester basically, so we do not want many of them. We don't want many of them because they go for about 15 to 18, so not much profit there, only about a five pound profit margin. Whereas with cotton ones, when they're good, we can make 10 to about 30 pound profit depending on what the piece is. All right, so first up, NFL hoodie, Rams. I forgot what team that is, um, LA Rams, St. Louis Rams, I don't know. I did get a hoodie with that logo on, like a massive embroidered logo, which was peeling in the last video. I just don't know what team it is. It's a nice hoodie though. Not the best colour. Dark grey is not my colour. Um, but it's decent. Good profit. I'm putting the profit counter. Um, revenue counter in the bottom corner there. So hopefully that gives you a sense of what I'm making from this box. I paid 550 of course. Let's just grab the next one. Okay, we have the most disgusting hoodie I've got. Obviously that print is very nice. But there is white marks. It's like a youth size. It's like a... It's probably a youth large. And the hood is massive. Like it's... It's weird as well, it's not, like, it goes across each other. But it is an NFL one, it's just, that's one for vintage, that's not, it's not going to sell, guys. Okay, next up, another Nike NFL one. Now, this is beautiful, but there is a problem, there's a there's a slight problem, guys. Um, black marks on the sleeve there, is that on the other side? There as well, these aren't going to wash out, these fully look like oil marks, as you can see, it's a big one. I'm going to have to bleach dye it, that's, that's not even going to disguise it. It's on a charity shop tag, $8.19, which is like, five pounds so i mean i'm not gonna be able to sell that i just can't sell that i'm sorry okay this is what we want to see we want gray ones it's, it's not the best but it's a champion one and it will still sell state bones just bring it cool okay we have a really really nice one it's just it's massive this is like 3xl vikings it is printed it looks embroidered but i like the nfl logo as well underneath the vikings purple and yellow vikings logo Okay, we've got another disgusting one. This is like 50-50 blend of cotton and polyester, if I can pick it up properly. There we go, Falcons. Not the best start to be unboxing. Now, I have a superstition, because there was only about 100 left in stock, and I bought 90. I always get scared that the, the remaining stock, like the last few, are always going to be bad, so I never buy them. I bought them this time. It's nice, not looking the best. All right, we've got another thermal one. Patriots, New England Patriots. It's really thin. It's all right. I'll be able to sell it, just not for, I'll get 15 for this. I know you guys might think that's low, but that's what I'll get for it. All right, so I love my white champion pieces. I'm sure you've saw me wear a hoodie in my previous videos, a white champion hoodie. CU, CO, North Dakota, University of North Dakota. I don't know what's, how to pronounce that city, um, but yeah, it's a really nice hoodie. It's a medium, but it's shrunk a bit, so it fits, it fits more like a small, smaller medium. But it's a great piece. Looks like it's in great condition. Normally with these you get yellow marks, but I can't see any. It's a lovely piece. I like it. That, that is a £30 one, 100% because it's white as well. Okay, so a bit of an interesting one. This one's new with tags. It's not the nicest. So it's Spartans. It's embroidered. Now it's super thin. It's fully cotton, but it's super thin. Um, big Spartans logo on the back. I'll show you the tag, which is interesting. So it has got the Nike tags here. Sorry, I'm shaking. Um, yeah, so it's, it's a women's one. And on the tag it says $80. $80, which is like, is like £65 or something. Brand new. I'm, I'm not going to be able to sell it for that. Probably get about 20. Probably a little bit less. 
but I mean, I can utilize that tag to get a good price for it, if that makes sense. Okay, this is not the best one either. Now, now it's embroidered Patriots, it's cool, but the material, it looks weird. Okay, we've got a nice Nike piece here. I always get Iowa pieces and they're always banging. And this one is nice. There we go, it's embroidered. I thought it was a thermal one at first, but it's not, it's like a heavy cotton one. It's, it's a little bit thin, which is a bit disappointing. I mean, embroidery looks weird, but it looks a bit like a bootleg, but it's not. It's um, on a Nike team tag there, so it's from the 90s. I don't want polyester ones. They just don't get me good money. Next up, our best hoodie so far, Pittsburgh Steelers. Great piece, great color. I like it, print in great condition. It's a weird print, and it's like inside. I don't know how to explain that, but um, yeah, it's a, it's a great hoodie. I like it. There is the hood. It's on an NFL tag as well. Well, of course, it's on an NFL tag. Um, but yeah, great piece, great size. It's a large, perfect. I can see so many thermal ones in there and it's not ideal. Um, so it's going a bit downhill at the moment. I'm still gonna make profit on them. We'll make profit regardless overall. And remember, we've still got another box and about 40 in here. There's like 45 in each. So yeah, Northwestern Baseball, Under Armour, Embroidered Central, Under Armour logo. It's really thin and oh, it's got a name on the back. Another thermal one, New England Revolution. It's for soccer team in New England, um, over in America. Okay, this is nice. Lafayette College, I think that's in Pennsylvania State. It's a good piece, really like the print, like the color, it's like a blood red burgundy. Uh, it's a big size, it's on an early 2000s tag as well. But yeah, I like it, great piece, 30 pound, 35 pound, definitely. I just need some mediums and larges, they're, they're what sell best. Bigger sizes like XL, 2XL. XLs are all right, to be fair, but 2XLs and onwards just don't really sell well. And this looks like a good, good piece. Definitely a champion one, I can tell. Oregon, champion logo should be there. There we go. Oregon, state in the top left of America. It's, it's a good size, really good size. What is that? Medium, yeah, it's a medium. Maybe one for the personal. I say I'm gonna keep one for myself at every unboxing and I just don't, I sell them. I need to start keeping stuff and treating myself. Another thin thermal one, the College of New Jersey. Okay, next up, another nice Nike piece. Embroidered swoosh, Massillon College, Massillon football, sorry. Uh, never heard of it. It's really thin. It's a 2XL. It's not polyester, but it's just it's really thin. Okay, next up we've got a Russell Athletic hoodie. It's, it's like a off-white colour. Asilon College. Asilon University. It's not faded, by the way. That's just for design, so it's... Next up we have Ferris State. It's a polyester one, once again, really thin. Next up we have a uh, Steelers one. Women's. Women's size. It's like a women's large, which is like a men's small. NFL tag. Full zip up. It's really cracked. Please focus. There we go. As you can see there, it's really cracked, which it's not good, it's not good. Next up, we have this Nike one. It's really nice. Trojans, a Spartans, is it? I can't, I can't remember. Uh, but it's a gray one, which is good once again. The only problem is, it's really cracked. I'll move it up close. Hopefully that focuses. Is it you, is it focusing? Can you guys see that? It's really cracked. It's got another NFL one. It's, it's not the best. It's Tigers, it's slightly cracked, but I mean, it's nothing major. It's a really boxy fit as well. Like it's really short, as you can see, and really wide. Next up, we have this weird Adidas one, Philadelphia Union. And it's got a print on the back towards the bottom, as you can see there. Next up, another NFL one. We're getting so many NFL ones, but they're not the best. Um, this one's cool though. Okay, we have this champion zip up. It's really nice to be fair. I'm not too keen on zip up ones, but this one's good. Next up, we have this really nice green Eastern Michigan one. These will go great with the Mis Michigan dunks, which are I'll put them on screen there, they're coming out in the next few days in a raffle. Okay, this one that I got before, which I said was Philadelphia Eagles, wasn't. Seattle Seahawks, because the same logo's on here, as you can see. We've got a Nike one, and it's super thin. Um, it's, it's basically the width of paper. New York Jets. Okay, we've got this champion one, Hof, Hofstra. And it's got this nice logo on the back, I don't know what that is. Is that a lion? What is that? Next up, we have a nice one. It's a thermal one, but it's a nice one. I like the embroidery. It's really good. NFL logo on the sleeve there. It's a great color, it's like baby blue. Reebok, so it's Reebok NFL. Okay, next up we have another Nike one. Getting really similar style prints with Nike. Property of College Club, uh, Wisconsin. It's all right, it's a bit thin once again. Once again, I wish you could feel it. Like it's not like a regular hoodie. We've got a really thin one once again. I love the embroidery though, Raiders. It's really nice embroidery. Next up we have this Pennsylvania University one. It's good, champion, like it. Next up, we have this champion one. It's got an F with a baseball on. Next up, we have another champion one. This one's really nice, Michigan State. It's in gray and green. Next up, Detroit Mercy, um, champion piece. There is a mark here. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but it's like, I can't tell if that's an iron mark or like a 
dirt mark. It should wash out if it's a dirt mark. Next up, another champion one. Really love this embroidery, Cal Bears. I like the font of the embroidery. It's like a different kind of style. Next up, a really nice embroidered champion one. Kent State University. This won't be Kent in the UK. It'll be a Kent in America. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice piece. And we're back to the firmer ones. Smyrna. Smyrna Volleyball. Next up, we have this Green Bay Packers one. Printed. Extremely thin. Um, it's a youth size as well, which is not ideal at all. Okay, next up, we have this Adidas one from Canada. Sis Saskatoon, which is in like Saskatchewan. Don't know, how to, <laughs> don't know how to pronounce that. So where the drawstring's supposed to come out of, it's not coming out of, and someone's like cut a hole, ripped a hole in the bottom there, um, and pulled it out of there, which is a bit pointless. Why are you doing that, mate? And we are into the final one of this box. We're gonna move on to that box shortly. We have got a champion one, Hopkins University, Hopkins Lacrosse. Hopkins um, University do great pieces, actually. I've had a few in bales, like unbranded ones, and they've been really nice. I've got a quarter zip as well at the moment, which is nice, I'll put it on screen. Um, but yeah, it's a great piece. I like this, I like the colour. That wasn't the best. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, first up we have a champion piece. Jag Guard. Okay, next up we have a champion one, Plymouth State University. Okay, they're looking good, I'm not gonna lie. Um, champion one, Kings Lacrosse. Really like that print. Okay, next up, another good quality one, Edmonton Oilers. It's a nice hockey hoodie. Um, it's quite cracked. Reebok. Move up close for you to see. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell, but that's cracked. Um, Still a nice hoodie though, I like it. Next up we've got this one, Malloy College Lions. It has Malloy College on that sleeve, Lions on that sleeve. Next up, Thermal Nike one, Bobcats on the back. Eek. Next up, another champion one, Calvin College Knights. It's all right, but there is a hole. It's not, it's not that big, I'll be honest. It's like um, half of a 5p coin. Next up we've got this vintage champion reverse weave, Missouri College one, which is a state. Once again, it's a great piece. Um, reverse weaves do well. Really well. I see some like vintage sellers selling them at like 80 quid a piece, which is mental. Um, I sell mine at about 25 to 30, so just 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 my opinion. Next up we have this really nice Nike one. It's embroidered as well. Tigers. Don't know what team that could be. It's on a Nike team tag, so it's from the 90s. It's a medium, but it's like a it's smaller than that. It must have shrunk. Um but, but yeah, it's like embroidered center swoosh, embroidered logo here it's a really nice piece i'm gonna put that to the side because that is our best piece so far okay QB's coming center swoosh nike they always sell best for me out of the entire hoodie unboxing they always do best gcu soccer don't know what college or university that is but it's a nice piece on to another champion one it's embroidered boston university with a crest which says bj don't know what that stands for and another nice embroidered champion one but the university there are a few light paint marks there which won't come out but I'll try and scrub it off. We'll see what we can do. Montreal Canadiens, hockey one. It's a Reebok um, one, Reebok NHL. Next up, a really nice Nike one. I've had a really similar one to this in the past. Um, twins, I forgot what team that is, but it's a baseball team. Embroidered, fully embroidered, full zip up. It's nice, I like it. It's an extra large youth or an extra large women's, I'm not too sure. So it's like a smaller medium to medium men's, I'm pretty sure. But I'll have to size that out correctly. Next up, another thermal one, St. John's University. It's an Adidas one. Next up, we've got another Nike one, Border Clash, massive Nike tick. Sponsors on the sleeves, it's kind of cool. And big sponsor on the back, Nike XC 2016. It's on a red Nike tag as well. Really nice champion, Notre Dame College one, fighting Irish, little Irish man down there. Really nice sleeve print here as well, it says Irish. Next up, thermal one, this is a kid's size. It's literally like a kid's large or a kid's medium. We've got another 90s Nike team one, Oregon. It's embroidered. Bobbled once again, but I can get that off easily, so bobbling's not an issue. We've got another kids one once again. It's nice, Clemson. It's embroidered. I like the font of the embroidery, but it's a kid size. It's tiny. Next up, champion one, Michigan. I've had three Michigan pieces so far, I think, and they've been really good, so yeah, it's a great piece. 25 to 30. Another Nike center swoosh. This time it's at the top instead of on the pocket. V, Virginia, maybe? I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's a great, it's a great hoodie. We have this Montana Grizzlies one. Um, I never get Montana pieces. It's a massive, massive state. It's on the border with Canada. Um, but it's a good piece, I like it. Really massive print with the outline of the state. And there's the back. Is that Champion? Sorry, I didn't check what brand it is. It is Champion, as you can see there. Another Champion one, Glovis West Basketball. We're getting so many Champion ones. Um, it's quite unique because it has a Champion logo embroidered there, which you don't see quite often, but um, really bobbled. You could probably see from that close up, but. We'll get it off it's a decent hoodie champion university of chicago one it's it looks like it's cracked but i think it's meant to be like that let it focus sorry you can see my eyes 
yeah, I'm pretty sure it's meant to be like that. Um, so it's not a big issue. Another champion one with some more sleeve print. Um, East Strudsburg University. Never heard of it. Now the only problem is the uh, logo on the sleeve there. Can you see? It's coming off. Gonna need some Gorilla Glue for that. I don't think I can sew it. I'll just Gorilla Glue it back down. So <laughs> that he doesn't notice whoever buys it. Next up, another Nike one. Hartford Basketball. Never heard of it. Center swoosh embroidered at the top. It's quite cracked. Don't know if you can see. But yeah, it's quite cracked. Um, still a nice hoodie though. Next up, Yale University. It's a champion one. Yale normally do awful pieces. Uh, I don't know if you've watched my past videos, but every Yale piece I've had is disgusting. Um, but this is nice. I like it. Another champion one. They're just throwing in champion ones left, right and centre now. Decalb University. Decalb Barons, sorry. Never heard of it. Okay, a bit of a stinker. Champion. Can't really see the logo much. Um, you probably can on camera because of the light, but it's a bit cracked. It's really thin. It's, I mean, it's alright, we'll sell it. Finally, I've been waiting for an embroidered one, it's been a while. New England, University of New England, sorry. Really nice champion piece. I'll move up closer, you'd see. It's a good size as well, it's like a large. Another really thin, sporty material. NW track and field, Northwestern maybe. I don't know. We've got another embroidered champion one, Boston College. Really nice. We've had a few nice Boston pieces today, haven't we? ET. Okay, we have this. USC Gamecocks. It's at University of South Carolina. Champion one. It's a good piece. I like it. We have this Nike green Spartans, Trojans. I forgot the team. It's embroidered, but the embroidery is like starting to peel off. Okay, we've got this champion quarter zip. MU Golden Eagles. All right, this has to be our best piece so far, in my opinion, in my opinion. It's a 90s Nike team one. Cardinals embroidered. It's on an MLB Nike tag, so it's baseball. I'm not too sure with my baseball teams, unfortunately, but really like that embroidery proper center swoosh as well okay so this is an example of like polyester thermal ones that i'm all, all right with chicago bears it's a really nice print really nice design really nice colorway as well navy and white with the orange logo um yeah really nice 18 to 20 definitely another nice center swoosh don't know what team that could be um embroidered swoosh this is printed and it's cute on the inside of the tag sorry i'll get it now it's um it says i love you can you see that Okay, another really nice Boston piece. This time it's a baseball one, Boston Red Sox. Adidas, really oversized, so it will do well. Oversized stuff, it's really gonna do well this winter. We're getting near the end of our unboxing. We've got like five left. We have this champion one, California Golden Bears. We got a similar piece before. It's got a sleeve print here. I've had so many with sleeve prints and I never normally get them. They're like rare to get. Another one with sleeve print, Rock Valley College. Golden Eagles on the sleeve, it's a quarter zip, champion. It's all right, it's, it's not the best, but it's all right. Okay, we have this Adidas one. It's embroidered OKC, Thunder. I think that's Oklahoma Thunder, which is a basketball team. A trick just for Adidas products. Um, if you go behind the tag, it's got this white tag here with a QR code and next to it, it has the date. So 09 slash 12, September 2012 is when this was made. Um, that's on most modern stuff from 2005 onwards, I'm pretty sure. Before that, it won't have this. So if this is there, then it's more of a modern piece. It's a good piece, I like it. And we're into our final piece of the unboxing, it's not the best. Sigma Iota Beta. Okay, that is it for the unboxing. I don't know what to make of that. It was a pretty average one, like there wasn't a ton of amazing pieces. Um, but we did get quite a lot of embroidered ones to be fair, champion ones especially. It's not as good as my previous hoodie unboxings. And um, we got so many thermal ones once again. And we did get so many stinkers. We got quite a few child sizes, women's sizes, which don't do too well which will just go on vintage for like, I swear to God, I'll put them on for like one pound. Um, but yeah, I, I will still make a lot of profit regardless. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Subscribe. Bye. I'm going to go iron this stuff and make some money. Cool. See you later.